Good morning, guys. It is 9.25 on Tuesday. And sorry, the lighting is like really bad. Um, I am off work today and I just got myself... Hold that thought. We're gonna adjust you. One second. Okay, we're back. I put you on my tripod so I had a little bit more room. So again, it's 9.30 in the morning on Tuesday. I just uh, shaved my whole body and I put on my self tanner, so which is why I'm looking a little, a little funky. So, but um, if anyone were wondering, I use, it's called Bronze Babe. I'll take you upstairs and show it to you because um, I tried to find it on Amazon again and I couldn't. So I don't, I don't know if it's discontinued or what, but um, yeah. So I did that and I used my little scalp serum. I didn't wash my hair for like five days. I had some cool braids in my hair. Shout out to Katie from work who does that. And so it is, turn you around here. It's called Bronze Babe. So if any of you are looking for a mousse, it's a mousse, it has a mitt self tanner so that's what I use you can see like it's pretty pretty good coverage um, nice color yeah so did that I'm gonna let like it set for a while before I put on my makeup and go for the day I just had my coffee and since I am no longer pregnant. Um, a lot of you know we lost our baby. Um, I was only showing five weeks. We don't know why I stopped producing, um, why I stopped growing. My body was still thinking that I was pregnant. Um, I, I started to get morning sickness. And um, so we just, we don't know, wow, I'm like, my face is all funky. self tanner problems. Um, anyways, so we we don't 100% know what, what happened, um, but I took the Silotech and we are hoping to regulate my body and just get back to normal and we really hope for a positive here in the next few months and that you know it's a it's just it wasn't our timing god said we weren't ready we had a lot going on we still have a lot going on and i start a new job next week so i'm doing that so i get a little bit more time to be established in my job and then anthony is able to leave for the marines to go for a schooling for four months so i mean it would have been crazy um, but you know, it definitely gives us a little bit more time to get some of these things knocked out out of the way and accomplished. So, but we, we can't wait to have a little whittle. Like it's, um, it's been kind of sad the last week, but today I go for an ultrasound to, um, see if I need to get the, it's called a DNC, so it's where they go through and they clean yourself out um, in your female areas and they um, help you get back to normal um, faster. So we will see, I go for my ultrasound today at 11.30, so they're gonna let me know if I need to have this surgery or not. And if I have to have the surgery, it'll be tomorrow on Wednesday. And then it's a two week recovery process. So hopefully we get some good news and I will keep everyone posted. Um, you'll probably see a, a quicker update on my social media than here, but yep. Yeah. Um, I just had my cup of coffee. I'm doing some social media work here in the morning. I'm getting some educational posts out to my client, getting my check-ins done. 
and I, since I'm not expecting anymore, I'm allowed to have this physique curb. Um, it is, it, it's really good. Like, it literally made my coffee taste like chocolate, and it was amazing. So, it is 20 calories, 4 carbs, 1 protein, and it's got the ingredients in it is, sorry. The cocoa powder and the gar Garcinia Cambogia extract, which is 60%. So, the Physique Curb, it says it's a simple and delicious companion. Um, each packet includes a guilt-free dark chocolate to treat your curb. A chocolate treat to curb your appetite. So it helps you, um, the Garcinia, Garcinia Cambogia, um, it helps curb your appetite and helps you feel fuller longer. Um, a lot of people mix it into a protein shake. I just put mine in my coffee um, because I try to typically fast until 1 or 12 o'clock um, because I just like to have a smaller eating window and it just kind of helps me. And this, I haven't had it for a while um, and I just ordered some more. And if you guys want to try it, let me know. Send me a message. Because it's really good. Like, it's really freaking good. So, that's going on. I'm probably going to go walk the dog. It's not raining. But that's a little bit of update right now. I took a week and a half off of pretty much of tracking. I, I tracked my food, but, like, I didn't, I wasn't super strict on my calories because... You know, I just got through the process of pretty much like having a birth of um, something that my body didn't want to get rid of and we were forcing it out and it was just, I've been on some pain medicine and it was very overwhelming and I'm, I'm, some, I'm raw and I'm real with you guys. I, I like to eat my feelings. I've done this my entire life, even as a child, so I'm um, driving through my spiritual prayer i'm finding different things to do to keep me active to keep me busy to keep my mind off of things focusing on my new job i'm trying to keep myself out of the house i uh so i mean like it's hard to kick habits and you know things that you've done even as a child but i'm not giving up like i'm not I'm not where I was two years ago. I'm not, I'm in a healthy relationship with food. I stop when I'm full. I don't, I'm not, I'm not hiding things from my husband anymore. I'm not, um, I'm not, like I'm just, I'm in such a better, such a better place and I just wanna be open and honest with you guys. And I I took like four days off from the gym because of my medicine and how I was feeling and it's, I have a lot of inflammation in my body and I'm just really focusing on getting my uh, nutrition back in line and um, meal prepping for a few days. So you'll see that later on in the video. So I'm going to do meal prep for me and Anthony for the rest of the week. And you will see how I do that and what I cook. And we will hit a workout as well too. And it's chest and shoulders today. But yeah, so stay tuned. Keep you guys posted. I'll do a full day of eating. So this and my coffee. Number uno of things I've eaten. So stay tuned. Catch you later. What's up, guys? So I'm back from my doctor's appointment. And I just kind of wanted to show you my lunch. It's 12.45. And I've got my food scale. i got a container here. I'm going to have a serving of spring mix organic. I like to rip mine up. The serving is 85 grams. So I'm weighing that out. And then I zero it, adding my cucumber or my bolt house creamy Caesar dressing. 
which is 30 grams. Got that. This back in the fridge. And I have a little apple. And then I have um, a serving of the Prego and the edamame spaghetti. So I'm gonna eat that, I'm gonna heat that up. And that'll probably be my lunch. Um, I wanted to talk to you guys about my doctor's appointment. So I had another ultrasound done and I have um, some tissue still inside that hasn't completely come out. But I was supposed to have surgery scheduled tomorrow and she doesn't wanna do the surgery because I've been bleeding naturally. But just, I'm sorry, this is like too much information, but I wanna share with you guys my process and what's going on. So they want me to try to continue to do this naturally and don't want to risk the scarring and the surgery uh, things that could happen and so we're gonna play it by ear and see how my body reacts naturally and go back to its normal state and Yeah We'll see how that goes and if you're wondering how I'm gonna long this apple I Cut it up and weigh it and it's 80 grams when I cut it up So that's how I do my apple so I cut it up from the core put it in the container and weigh it out so I'm accurate. And I'm gonna enjoy my lunch. Catch you later. This is a very large meal. I have 96% lean ground beef, a serving of sweet potato fries, and then a package of flavored green beans. Do you guys ever feel just so satisfied when you mow your yard? Just a great feeling. Yep, love it. So if you haven't watched any of my videos before, I do some full day of eating. So I'm gonna show you some of the things that I eat in a day and how I track them into my fitness pal. So, here is how I track my second meal of the day. Okay, so, got my phone. I got my fitness pal. So we're gonna go load. We're gonna go to food. I'm gonna flip you around here. Okay. So, can I go get, I'm gonna carry you around here, sorry. Get some things. So the big meal I just showed you, I pre-portioned out. I purchased a pound of the um, lean beef, the 96% lean, lean beef. So I'm going to show you how I log it. So we're gonna go, bear with me guys here. We're gonna go food, mm, snack I guess, whatever you're gonna call it. We're going to look it up. So we're going to look up 96 lean ground beef. Oops. Search. And so this is going to come up ground beef 96% lean. And I had, I had four, um, eight ounces. So I had two, two servings. So this is really high in protein, this meal. And that, add. 
I had one serving of the sweet potato fries. So sweet. Let's see if I have these. I have these saved already. Great value sweet potato fries. So we're gonna go to two to one. I'm gonna hit save. And then this next item, I I ate the bag. So I ate it's um, bird's eye flavorful steakhouse green beans. So I had a bag. So I'm going to hit the log food. Whatever you want to put that under. And this is a barcode scanner. So I'm going to click the barcode. And we are going to scan. And it's searching. And then there were three servings per container. So, whoa. It's hard to do. Three. 18 carbs, seven fat. And that is how I logged that meal. So that meal was 600 calories, pretty high, a, a big amount of food. I don't usually eat all that, that at once, um, but some days you're just a little more hungry at once. So I accommodate the rest of the day. It's gonna be volume eating the rest of the day. So I will catch you guys later. So we got some asparagus, some zucchini, I did rice, and fried chicken in the air fryer. I have the big boss air fryer, and it kind of like helps you tell you how long to cook it for. And there's a timer here, and it just goes off. This is Uncle Ben's rice. Anthony's messing with the dog. <laughs> so we have that. And I already have like some stuff pre-done up in the fridge. So he's gonna have burgers. So I have two burgers that I cooked up. The sweet potato fries and more burgers. So that is gonna be for this guy tomorrow because he has class. And those are gonna be like easy meal prep for me. Um, what I do, I just air fry chicken up for Anthony and then I cook veggies in the oven. I do 425 for 20 to 25 minutes for my veggies. And they get nice and crisp. And that is how, sorry, it's like really dark there. Hi. And yeah, so it's easy meal prep. I had not filmed 100 grams of avocado. So I am going to log that into my fitness pal. So I hope today helps you guys see, you know, what I eat in a day, how to log things, how to just wing it how to use meal prep if you have meal prep. And I just kind of go by the flow most days. Some days I prep things up. With my new job, things are going to change a little bit. So I'm gonna have more of a routine schedule every day. And I might eat, start eating breakfast. Who knows? Life will change. Hi, say hi to the YouTubers. He doesn't really like being filmed. <laughs> so. I'm just working. Um, you're not working. What are you doing? Mm. I love you. Love this guy is so tired. Batman. Batman! Say hi. Um, but yeah, so. I'm probably going to finish my meal off tonight with a protein shake. Mmm, and maybe some edamame. Not sure. But. I will catch you guys later and hope you enjoyed this workout footage. See you later.